Okay, so I've bought this board online for about a hundred bucks. It's a um, eight foot mini mal. It's quite a good board. It's a solid board. Uh, it's got some nice colors on it. It's, it's obviously had uh, a couple of repairs done by a professional here, which is, uh, which is all right. The only problem is um, when I got home and I started to clean it, I realized that it's actually got some delamination here. Right, so unfortunately the fiberglass has come away from the, the foam, uh, which is not a good thing at all. Um, so uh, unfortunately I didn't see that when I bought the board. I missed that, which happens, but um, everything's okay over on this side. It's obviously just had these repairs, so it's a little bit messy, but yeah, this delamination is a, uh, it's a, it's a game changer, unfortunately. So either I throw the board out, which I think a lot of people would do, or we repair it and we restore it. Um, so what we're thinking of doing, I'm gonna get my son Elijah and he's gonna help me. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to identify exactly where this uh, delamination is. We're gonna mark it out and then we're gonna cut it we're gonna to have to cut the fiberglass off and that's gonna leave a big mess on the board here, but we're gonna to have to then fill it, re-fiberglass it, and um, I'm thinking what I'd like to do, the board's gonna look pretty messy after the repairs because it's got those other repairs, so we, we might paint the board. So what I'm gonna to try to do is probably keep some of these lo lovely colors here. So we'll cover these over, we'll cover the black rim line here the stringer line, and then we're gonna repaint the board, probably in a light blue um, color. So hopefully bring it back to life and restore it. That's the, uh, that's the goal with this board. Um, let's see how we do. Pressing and marking so that you can get to the outside, get to the outside of where the, where the D-Lam is. And then once you get to the outside, just we can then draw it just line. this one spot yeah look it's it's see you see there yeah yeah so the main idea is just finding out the perimeter of the delamination because we want to leave the good oh, fiberglass even there. over there oh gosh no see look at that see that <laughs> Grab those and let's see if we can just pull them off, pull it off. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now what I want, yeah, that's it, good. Look at that. Okay, so then, oh, sorry, yeah, so then you gotta there. sort of go and have a look. So you need to take more off there. Yeah. See, so you gotta work out where's it, how far more do you need to go? So that's gonna have to go further. See all that's gotta yeah, come off, yeah. yeah. So just keep going, yeah. So as you can see, we have uh, taken the uh, the fiberglass off the uh, off the board, the delaminated fiberglass. Um, it could be classified as a disaster of epic proportions. It's uh, a lot bigger than than we thought, but uh, nevertheless, um, we're going to persevere. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Our next step will be to grind down the sides of the. Um, the fiberglass here get the board ready for the foam so we're going to um, use the expanding foam and try to get the shape back of the board put some more foam on there before we glass it so that's our next step Okay, we're at the stage now where we're going to be using the expanding foam. So we're going to f we want to fill the board, um, obviously with foam, rather than a uh, resin Q-cell mix. Um, obviously, we don't want to be pouring lots of resin on a, on a big 
a cavity uh, area like this. Uh, a because it just uses it's too expensive to use so much uh, resin plus it also makes the board incredibly heavy so we're going to use the expanding foam so I'm just going to prep the board now with tape and then we're going to give it a crack yeah so this was the first time that I'd used the uh, liquid two-part expanding foam uh, you could probably tell that by watching the video I was uh, flying blind quite a quite a bit learning from uh, learning from the process uh, so basically the instructions were uh, it was a one-to-one -one mix ratio um, to and to stir for 20 to 30 seconds uh, I ended up using three batches on, on the board. I probably could have done it in two, but I took a bit too long, I think. I was a bit too thorough in stirring uh, and pouring, so it, it, it expanded a bit quicker than I expected. Uh, but nevertheless, it, uh, it went very well, and it was um, definitely learned from, uh, from the experience. Okay, as you can see, um, this is the day after we put the foam in, so it's come up really well. It's uh, very thick, it's quite firm. Uh, as I said, it's the first time I've used the expanding foam, um, but um, yeah, it seems to be uh, it seems to have come up really well. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to use the the blade. I'm just going to try to cut some of the foam off uh, before I uh, use the sander just so that I don't have to sand too much create too much mess um, but then we're going to be sanding it, the, it down and then we'll use the Q-cell uh, resin uh, mix just to uh, fill in any low, low spots and any, um, any little holes that we've missed uh, and then we can uh, fiberglass it tomorrow so that's the plan today start out with the 40 grip we're just going to give it a really good go and try to get it down as much as we possibly can and then we'll probably go back to a 120 and then a 240 okay so that was the 240 grit uh, sandpaper. I'm just going to use this um, <clears throat> this 1000 soft pad, um, which will be good, I think, for the uh, the the edges because it's the soft it's a soft pad. Uh, plus, I just want to be very careful. I don't want to go too low uh, at this stage. So I'm just going to take it very easily and slowly here. And as we can see, there's quite a few holes here. So that's when we when we do the uh, the resin Q cell mix. That'll uh, that'll cover that in. it down into those little holes. Got to 
make sure that there are no any, any divots or anything like that. And if there are, I want to make sure we get some in there. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the tape down in a zigzagged pattern so that the fiberglass is going to uh, come over here and we don't want the fiberglass in a direct straight line because that creates a breaking point for the board. So um, what we'll do once the fiberglass sets we can then cut the, uh, the fiberglass on this, this um, jagged line here. So we do that on each end. So the resin will run off here and it won't go underneath, cause it pooling on the um, on the wrong side there. Before the glass, we're using two sheets of fiberglass, a six ounce on the bottom directly over the repair, then the four ounce over the top of that, which so extended to the, uh, to the tape line. Okay, so it's just going to cut along there. Okay, let's get rid of that. 0.168. You got your squeegee. You ready? Here we go, ready? Okay. So it's, you spread it? Yep, spread it. All over. Here go. Thanks. Saturate it. What you do is you you milk it from the from the inside, bring it out, right? You could go a bit. You have to go lower to the tape, you know. Let's see if you can if you can take it under. Okay, so we're just doing our hot coat. Okay, so it's the morning after and fiberglass looks like it's come up quite well. It's nice and strong and smooth. Um, so what we're doing now is we're just taking the um, uh, Stanley knife over the, uh, the end of the tape so we can peel off the fiberglass and, uh, and then we're going to have to start the sanding process. So hopefully this goes well. Just cutting along the edge of the, of the tape. That's it, that goes well. That's it, excellent. Obviously trying to avoid damaging the, the board underneath the uh, fiberglass that we put on. That's it. So I'm just going to lay some tape uh, just here on the outside of the um, the edge of the fiberglass so that um, it just protects the board when, when I sand the edge here because we're going to obviously need to sand this down. Okay, so we've sanded the board. We've given the board a complete sand. Um, our repair looks quite good, looks quite solid. Well, eventually we're going to be painting the board. Um, we're going to be painting it that probably a sky blue with the marine paint, the whole board, front and back. But what I want to do is I want to leave these black, this black rim on the board. Um, so what I'm going to do before we paint the, it in blue, I'm actually going to try to replace this black line along here and then down here. Um, so I'm going to use spray paint to, to do that. And then I'm going to use a finish resin over the top of it to protect it. Uh, I have used obviously a clear coat in the past, but I find when you put the tape over 
the clear coat um, and the you know the paint it can it can sometimes peel so I'm thinking if I use a finished resin it, it'll be stronger it'll protect the black line and then we can um, tape up the the black lines and the stringer line as well as some of these colored colors here and then we can paint the whole board blue um, and I think that's probably the best way to go the blacks come up nice the black line yep so what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to mix brown paint and I'm gonna put a little bit of tint see if I can get a, a light just a light brown and then just paint a stringer line on here because I want to keep the stringer line as well when we do the uh, the blue painting uh, so anyway I'll see how that looks so I can see how that goes okay so I just realized I don't have any acrylic uh, brown so what I'm going to actually do is use a little bit of white spray paint in a cup and then put a bit of brown tint or a bit of brown spray paint to see if I can just get a nice a very light brown and then paint it on the paintbrush okay it's just slightly a little bit darker but it's just gonna have to do I think uh, anyway that's all right and then tomorrow what I'll do is I'll just give it a, a finish resin over the top just so that it's um, it's basically underneath the resin so that when we put the tape over it it'll just protect the paint and uh, it'll be nice and strong and it'll stay on the board. What I'm going to do now is just give the board a nice clean with acetone. I'm just going to get all the um, dust off it. And um, what I'm going to do is start taping up these lines here, these nice colours. I did make a small mistake. I should have covered these lines with tape when I sanded the board. Because um, I was prepping the board obviously for painting. I just wanted to rough it up. But it scratched the, the painted areas a little bit. I can see it in the sunlight. Um, which is a shame but anyway so what we're going to do is clean the board and then just tape this up we're going to tape up the uh, stringer line and tomorrow morning we're going to paint the board blue I really love this picture of this bird. I'm gonna um, try to cover that, tape it up so we can keep that. Okay, so we're gonna be giving it uh, probably three coats, uh, about one coat about every four to five minutes. First coat I might just go a long way. So I'm just using the marine paint. This is the Botany Blue. It's a, uh, a modified polyurethane ultra high gloss. It's quite durable. I think next time I might use a spray paint with a, um, a finished resin over the top. Okay, so that's coat number one complete. In about five minutes I'll come back and do coat number two. Okay, so we got coat number two coming up. Last coat, number three. There we go. So here's our board. Three days later, it's been in uh, storage for three days, just uh, curing.
Okay, so after removing all the tape off the board, um, it all looks pretty good. However, I've made two mistakes, uh, which um, I've decided I'm actually going to uh, rectify. The first mistake I made was this black rim here. Uh, obviously, as you can see, the stringer tape that I used was, was a bit too thick. So it, it, it was thicker than the black line. So obviously you can see through to the board, the, uh, the, the, the white uh, and the board there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get some thinner stringer tape. And I'm going to put it back around on this, um, this black rim. And, um, and then when I repaint the back of the board, I'm going to obviously paint around the rim um, just to rectify that problem. Now the other issue I've got, now the board's fine and the repair's fine, however, I've, I've realized that if you can see it carefully, when I put the, um, the hot coat, so the second coat of resin onto the board, I've actually missed a few areas. And you can sort of see, it's hard to see it because of the sun, but some of the board is smooth some of the repair is nice and smooth because the hot coat was on it but then other parts of it's just a bit rough it's just rougher now normally with a board like this um, you could get away with it wouldn't really matter functionally there'll be wax on the board anyway but I'm going to actually sand that off um, I'm going to sand the paint off and I'm going to put the the hot coat so I'm going to put the resin that's got the um, the wax additive added to it silly mistakes but um anyway them's the brakes and uh we'll persevere so you can see it a little better with this from this angle the uh just the um the roughness here which i'm going to try to remove uh, so i'm just going to use the 240 grit sandpaper to take this um this paint off and then i'm going to put down another layer of um the sanding resin and hopefully I can smoothen this out a little bit like I say functionally it's fine I'm also gonna use some paint to uh, get rid of this um, red on the stringer line here okay so I'm just going to use acetone which is going to uh, obviously get rid of more it's going to really eat through the paint uh, but also it's going to clean it so that um, when I put the, the sanding resin down it should um, absorb into the fiberglass better. You just got to be careful with this acetone, it eats into it. Okay, so my plan here will be to put some paint on the um, on the black rim here. As you can see, I've put a thinner stringer line on the black rim. So I'm going to run around that. Um, and then I'm going to obviously paint the, um, the repair. That, and then I'm going to flip the board over and then I'm going to paint the whole of the back. So that's my plan this afternoon. Doesn't smart dry. Yep. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so we're just gonna do the back of the board. I'm just gonna give it three coats. Lovely Adriana just helped me to turn the board over, thankfully, so uh, we were able to do that successfully.
Thanks uh, for watching the restoration video and this mini mail. It's been quite a big job, uh, a, a bit bigger than I expected, but uh, I've certainly uh, learned a lot along the way. Uh, may, I've obviously made a few um, mistakes, mainly minor mistakes, but uh, I'll definitely be better for it next time. Please give it the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and I've got um, quite a few other videos, so you may want to subscribe to check those out. Um, different um, restoration and refurbishment videos.